Hey everybody, welcome back to the Off Studio, where we talk about whatever I, I want to talk about, because it's my show, and not JC's, at least for today. Although today seems a little bit rough, because I feel like it's a, it's going to be an interesting day. Uh, and by interesting, I mean boring. I don't think it's going to be quite a uh, fascinating development. I really don't think so. Do you guys ever have any of those days where you think about and you have a lot of hopes in your life and you're like, hmm, this week's going to turn out well. And then you think about it again and you're like, no, it's just going to be the same. And hmm, there's a piece of me that feels annoyed by that and frustrated, but it's not really something that I would say is a big loss necessarily. So we'll call it as it is or what it is, however it is. Anyway, you might be wondering why suddenly we're trying too hard <laughs> it's... as you can tell i recently got my hands onto a really really fun little gimmick right now which is a very interesting uh project very interesting what do you call this um neon skin disorder kind of situation going on which by the way if this is how my skin worked like if at night it glowed in the dark you do that all the time. Like you just go at night, and this is this is who you should be. Honestly, like if this is if this is my life and this is my body, and that's how I'm gonna have to be. I feel like you just own it because this is fun. Like if my body, if all of my pimples glowed in the dark, by all means, make it happen. Um, so basically, today is gonna be a confessions under. Eh. Welcome to confessions under the moonlight. Nope, it's not the moonlight. It's starlight it's confessions under the galaxy we're gonna do this again welcome to confessions under after dark welcome to what would happen if i were to be interrogated under uh some lights and my interrogators are, are aliens so i am being held against my will and this is what it's going to look like it's actually a lot more glamorous than i thought it would be there's a lot of pretty colors and i didn't think that i would feel this much pressure or my hands would be this sweaty but this is where we're at with our lives i feel like with the amount of technology that the world has to offer that if there was actually life somewhere else in this in this universe that it would have to be better than this and it would be way more colorful and if it was way more boring, I feel like they'd still be way more interesting than us. So that's kind of our, my life right now and what we're doing with. Uh, so anyways, confessions, confessions. What do I have to confess about? Honestly, if this is what the confession window is supposed to look like at a at one of those, you know, those confessionals um, where you have to like sit, like you're at the church and you're like sit beside like that weird pattern thing. If this was the design of the confessional, I mean, come on. What? I feel like this is going to be like a surefire way for an actual good, right? Like, I feel like people should just confess more if this is how it's going to be. Anyways, here are me babbling about confessing and not confessing anything. I actually don't even know what to confess. I don't understand. I don't know. I... I don't know. Like, I guess I'm, I'm not really that much of a liar. It's kind of a funny thing. Uh, maybe that's my confession. I have a hard time lying. It's really, really hard for me to do. And I feel like a lot there's a lot of people in the world who are actually way better than I can. And so it really causes a lot more... I, I don't know, I feel like I cause more uh, comedy because of my inability to, like, properly make up... Like, when I want to do embellishments, like, I want to, like, make up something, it's... I often kind of go overboard, and it's way too wild for what it's supposed to be. So people automatically just start questioning that, oh, well you don't seem like you're telling the truth but the funny thing is is the entire time i'm actually telling the truth so it's like huh what what do we what do i do what's going on i once uh dm'd a person i have this thing where i really like i practice radical honesty as much as i can and so this was one of the darkest darker times of my life where i was advised to not be myself and so i decided that for the sake of the argument let's go for it and i have an open mind let's see and test it out so i dm'd a girl and when i did it was very awkward because 
turns out the person was also very blunt but because i was under the pretense of i'm not supposed to be so i had to like make up some weird reason but then it ended up not really so here's what ended up happening so i was like that was told to experiment like yo check it out talk to this person see if she likes you so i'm like all right let's do it let's go message this person see if she i don't have much qualms about that like i really don't have any issues about being the first person to message somebody if i liked you you would know but because i'm like two-thirds extrovert and like one-third attempting to please my friends let's do it so we went for so i went for it and i dm'd we started talking and it was like really chill for now and then the girl like pops up that question of so what is this and every fiber of my being was like oh i want to be straight up honest like this is my time to like say something as real as i can be and be like yo i think you're pretty like i think you're cute like this we should you know, go out, like, we should do all, and I was like, <sighs> I was told that I was gonna keep it chill today, so we're gonna tone down and see what this is like, and turns out this is the response, and I'm like, damn it, am I just gonna self-sabotage my entire thing? Well, newsflash, I kind of did, but in a way, it kind of did help me somehow either way. i'll explain the context will come sooner so basically what ended up happening is i gave up a pretty good reason where i'm like hey i don't actually know you so i can't really make that conclusion yet which is actually pretty smart at least a lot of my friends told me it was smart i personally thought it was ridiculous because i feel like it's one of those effy things that you have you, you say to like make a person be like oh yeah yeah no i get it and i'm like it sounds like a waste of time for me because i could have just said it first thing in the thing and it's I don't because here's the thing with me and feelings i'm honest about it i always know how i'm feeling at all times so when i say it i'm like yeah i know it's real but then like it's not like it's going to change um and it will it could change it could not change it's just i just want to express it as black and white as i can and so i did that and they're like oh, okay yeah it turns out she was getting the exact same advice too from a lot of her people where they're like oh well you should like check it out and see and experiment so i'm like thinking about it now i'm like we're both really bad at this game <laughs> and now that i think about it in hindsight we probably have a lot more in common than we'd like admit to each other probably i don't know we might have a lot more to admit to each other than like with similarities than we could but then after a while i kind of was just that was a period of my life where I entertained the idea of being with somebody because for some reason life felt very stable at the time and then now that life isn't my brain or whatever I guess you could call the super ego in Freud language like went overhaul and like completely I don't know I put up a closed for sh like shop closed the shop is closed sign and I was just like no we're not gonna have this moment and yeah, and I just it just stopped. And the best part, the funniest part about me is that the minute I stop caring is when people start to care. And it I feel bad for those people because it, it, I'm busy. I really am. And like I am trying to like make ends meet. I'm trying to like do all that kind of stuff. And it's again, it's gonna sound like as if I'm making excuses, like, well, just go out. But the thing is, is even the spark, whatever it is I thought, was gone. So there's nothing to to go off of and i don't really idealize in that sense and i don't fantasize in that sense. like i don't sit around and go oh you know like <laughs> if this is my background right now with the stars this is the literal interpretation of what's not going on in my brain where i'm just like because let's make a sequence about this let's make a i don't know i'll take a few sequence of a just a magical little romantic attempt So now that you've seen that, you can tell why I don't do that. It's also boring. Like, I've always <laughs> I had this issue with people. Why do people stare out into windows? Do you, people actually do that? Like, <laughs> the fact is, I saw this guy once did it, and I, I cringed. I'm sorry, but I cringed. And it's just, I looked at the guy, I was like, <laughs> I judged him. I was like, why are you doing this? And he goes, oh, I just... I just really want to be with somebody, you know? Like, I really just want to... Let me just... Let me give you the whole... This is what it looks like. He's just going... 
and he was singing. He was there's this there's a Filipino love song out there that I don't know and I don't care. But it's just going like the window. And me, my old little self, little Asian boy self, was like staring and going like, that's what people do. People actually spend time to do this. Like they actually bring feelings up like that. Like I bring feelings up, but why do I have to look outside? I feel like that's, I'm sorry, but it feels like a waste of time. I feel, a lot of things I feel is a waste of time. Um, and I don't, it's funny because I'm trying to justify how I can do that and then yet still be like a professional procrastinator. I think it boils down to what I choose to spend my time on. And I feel like my time is better spent like pep talking myself. I feel like my time is better spent like looking at a calendar and like making events, listening to music, expressing, you know, like getting my feelings tickled by hard rock, let's say. Um, watching movies. I feel like all of those are probably a lot better at processing my feelings than say going, oh, I wonder if they're looking at me. I don't because I'm not looking at you. <laughs> can't and back to the whole going full circle around the other issue thing like this oh lord have mercy the girl is nice at least i think she's nice and i personally feel like we're better off friends because of how i am and how i approach a lot of these situations i feel like there's a lot of issues when it came to to me just like making sense of it and is it like an insecurity thing i've actually asked myself many times i'm like am i just insecure i've been called out before where I'm like oh you're probably just making up or overcompensating for something and i'm always like okay overcompensating overcompensating but i haven't all i've been doing was just telling the truth though so like Am I overcompensating by not lying? But that's a weird way to put it. And it's like, what do you- <laughs> I'm sorry that I have to pretend to apparently look normal, because normal is apparently defined as, oh, you're also kind of sort of crazy, but you're not gonna show it, and we're not gonna talk about it until five years after your marriage, and then that's gonna be a big blow up, and then you're gonna call up all of your friends, and then you're all gonna talk about your feelings, and then you're gonna feel better about it. But that's not how I am. Like, why not call it out, fix it up, organize your life, and do that. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why does it have to be a whole drama thing? And I'm not really one to... I'm not as theatrical as I guess I would like to say that I think I am. I prefer to be kind of above it, <laughs> which probably just sounds so pretentious, but I like to watch it, if that makes more sense, maybe that to help save the, and be relatable, I like watching the fire, I don't really like being a part of the fire, if that makes sense, sometimes, I don't even like, sometimes even starting a fire, when you really think about it, I just kind of like to watch it, because fires, even in fire in itself, is just very mesmerizing to watch, it's very like, ooh, it's all like wavy, and then, Hopefully you're distracted by all of this going on so that you can see how this is going on. <laughs> and I think I personally think this is a way more entertaining way of um, talking uh, and living. But yeah, that's that's how it is. And I guess that's what I'll confess is that I'm too honest. That's what I'm con maybe I'll get better at this confession thing. Maybe I'll think of something else. Um, will I keep this lighting? Is that is that how it is? Y'all tell me if I if this lighting is is honoring you in a really great way <laughs> just i can't take anything seriously oh this is sad um by the way i like long walks by the <laughs> i can't even do that i can you imagine doing an, an outro of just this like mesmerizing um again this is me projecting i think it's mesmerizing because i can't stop staring at like the all of it but then other people could be like i'm bored already so honestly if that's how you feel good on you you have a trait that i would want to have more in my life but i i don't unfortunately and so this is what we're going to be doing today but yeah we're going to be mesmerizing myself uh and thinking about potential can you imagine dating quotes like just i feel like i have people tell me that i'm quotable because i say such weird stuff so i'll say things like "Ooh, i like long walks by the beach rock surfaces and crusty um leg feet like it's everyone's all like what what are you talking about i'm like i don't know it's like i like jellyfish stings and they're like what and i'm like i know and then fixing it and they're like why and i'm like that's a good question anyways i'm babbling again and that's the problem that i have i am a problematic chronic babbler and so 
yeah, with that being said, I need to end this as quick as I can before things get worse. So thanks again uh, for watching. Uh, there, it, We're back again with season four. And so I'm pretty excited to see what comes down the drain in that situation. But without further ado, uh, yeah, till next time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> till next time, stay classy or not. You know, it's not like it's a... It's not like anyone's asking you. It's not like you're being interrogated by a pair of aliens in a very glamorous getup. Um, setup, sorry. In a very glamorous setup, such as this. And so with that, you know, hopefully I survive the next week. And with that being said, bye!